Hello everyone and welcome back to the North Star Legacy! We are here with Sims 3 Supernatural and all expansion packs following the family of the North Stars, which include Darian, our alchemist son of a witch who is a witch, and his adopted fairy daughter Zelda, and now little Nora? Oh my gosh, I feel so embarrassed. Gina, why do I keep calling her Nora? Gina, Gina, the fairy who lived in town, who Darian cast a love charm on, and they've been having an adorable, slow-moving little relationship, so they're doing quite well. But we are here with the first day of winter, enjoying their beautiful home, and I just noticed there's something going on here. Look at these houses down here. Oh, wow, and it is so pretty in this town, isn't it? I just cannot get over how gloriously beautiful this world is. But these houses over here, which are occupied with people, have the holiday lights on them. So we're going to, in fact, a lot of, yep, pretty much everybody wants to hang the holiday lights. In fact, everyone in the house does. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to hang the holiday lights on the house. Let's see, hanging. <gasps> Ooh, we can do all these different colors. I've never done this before. Oh my goodness, so what if we did, I think, the white ones, like everyone else? Ooh, look at that. That is so cute. I wonder if there's, like, neighborhood regulations, <laughs> and that's why they're all the same color. What about hanging? Multicolor? <gasps> so festive! Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've never done this before, so this is very exciting to me. Uh, custom color? Are you kidding me? That is so cool. You can set up custom colors. Jeez Louise. Okay, and if it was just a strip, it would just be like that. Nah, we've got to have the hanging ones. I love the hanging ones. Oh, and the white ones are really nice. I'm so partial to white ones. We're going to say there's neighborhood regulations because everyone else in the neighborhood has the white ones. So we're going to go with the white hanging ones again. Let's go down, take a beautiful picture of our new little holiday home. Look at that with the snow falling. The snow is really beautiful in this game too. Oh, actually, look, you know what we need to fix? You know what we need to fix? There's still, like, even though this is kind of a Halloween supernatural town, we've got to celebrate. It's new new season, new holiday season. So actually, let's come down. And we're going to put away into the family inventory. I don't think we have enough money to actually go all the way through with decorating. But into the family inventory will go our jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, we've got stuff in here. The heck? Is this like a beetle? What is this? I don't know what that was, but I sold it. All right, tiny space rocks, gold. Darian could actually probably use these. And then there's just like some old toys. Um, I think those were Gina's that we were holding on to for like the future. So we'll hold on to them for a bit longer. Let's put away these jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, these holes. I wish I could, oh my gosh, I can move them. What? Well, at least I can move them out of the way, okay. Then put these there. All right, so then what do we have in terms of decorating for for more of a winter-themed holiday? Let's see. Decor. Uh, let's sort by filter content for seasons. Which one's the seasons? I'm such a Sims 2 player. I'm still so new to all of this. And Sims 4, I've been enjoying Sims 4 a lot. There we go. Seasons. Oh wow, there's not a lot. There's like a shell planter and a glass vase. So back it up. Let's do everything. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. What's this? The hollow plants. Oh my goodness. Like holographic plants. That's amazing. Well, I'm not sure if there's anything. Like we're under decor. This is kind of a, a scanty decorating selection. Oh, because we're looking at plants. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, so new to all of it. All right, let's try this again. And whoops. Can we filter the content? Nope. So we're just going to have to roll with it. Ah, oh, that granddaddy clock. I forgot about that. It's so freaking cool. Let's see. I don't really want a jelly bean bush right now, even though I think that our kidlet would love that. Island bounty. Oh, mistletoe! We definitely need some mistletoe inside. Are you kidding? That would be adorable. Hang on. I've got to find somewhere to hang it. Right here. <gasps> That's so cute. We're going to have Darian and... Gina, go and hang out under the mistletoe in a little bit because that's just freaking adorable. Uh, what's this? Oh, a wild wand collection! We're going to put that upstairs for Darian. That just seems like way too cool to pass up for our witch. 
Yeah, he has like nothing up here too. So let's see, it must be against the wall. I'm trying, I want it on the inside of the wall though. Oh, help, help. Why can't I put it on the inside of the wall? What? Okay, I can over there. Huh. Okay, well, well, let's see, can I? Let's see, hmm. We'll mess with this more in just a little bit. We'll put it there for now. And I'll move around, I'll move that around. We're gonna decorate his attic so it can be like a proper witch's attic in the future. That's something else we're gonna be working on. What's this? What are you? Oh, little pony. If I had seen that before, we totally would have put that in her room, but guess whose birthday it is? It is actually Zelda's birthday today. So we're gonna be growing her up. Let's see, let's see. Nothing that's really leaping out at me going, pick me. Let's, let's try it this way. All right, sculptures, and we're gonna sort, and we're gonna go, hey, we don't have a lot of money, so it's probably a big part of it. Seasons, yeah, then it's just like big sculptures. Oh, maples, leaf shelters, are you kidding me? Look at that leaf shelter. That's amazing. I want it, I want it, leafy shades, are you kidding me? Okay, well, clearly we need more money. We need more money so we can snag some holiday items and things like that. But for now, I don't know. Ooh, fish swimming in stone. Ooh, see, all of this is like brand new to me, so it's very exciting. Right, outdoor stuff, outdoor stuff, not really. Um, maybe if we like specifically look at outdoor stuff? Lawn ornaments, maybe? Let's see, what do we have here? Some adorable gnomes, uh, haystacks, a hollow billboard, and let's see, vines, obstacle spine? What's that? No, not quite. Fire hydrants, merry milkmaid barrel. Oh, that makes me want to get the little, the little. Uh, anything more powerful than a chainsaw? Wow. The moon dial. I guess we could be like, celebrate with a moon dial because they're like supernatural so we can just like put a moon dial out front and be like that's how we roll for the the shortest time of the year so we'll just put another moon dial out front and that'll be our decoration for now um we'll go for that we'll go for that all right come here moon dial i'm going to change your coloring a little bit though i want a silver moon dial instead there that's actually a good good color for it matches a little bit better all right so enough goofing around Let's get a nice picture of the household being absolutely lovely in the snow. Is it sunny now, really? Nah, oh, there we go, that's better. That's better, and then we are gonna grow up our wonderful Zelda. It is time for her to turn into a teenager, so I'm very excited about that. It's gonna be pretty darn amazing. Um, and she's gonna be my first teenager. Oops, we're still missing the roof. There, oh, look at that. With little street lamps being so beautiful. Oh, and moving through the snow. They have a fantastic new house. That's all thanks to you, Gina. That's what you get for casting a love charm on a woman who has a large inheritance and a house to sell, Daria. And that was a pretty smart move. Plus, she was the only fairy we had ever met. The only other fairy we had ever met. So she's actually working in her little laboratory, which is so freaking cute right now. She's working away on her science skill, but we're going to have her stop. And what else does she want to do? <gasps> she wants to kiss under the mistletoe. That's adorable. Do you want to do that, Darian? Darian, you should want to kiss under the mistletoe. Ugh. At least Gina's getting a little bit more enamored with her, her boyfriend. All right. We're going to pop up here, and we are actually going to come over and have her blow out the candles. Come on, Zelda. Zelda Northstar is having a birthday party. Come one, come all. I'm excited. I've never done this before. All right, stop reading your too much salt book. Gina, come upstairs. And this is actually the ice cream that Zelda was just eating. When we got back, everyone had berry all over their face from the pie eating contest. Oh my gosh, this wallpaper. If we had more money right now. Alright, everyone sell it. Everyone coming up. Darian, stay. 
Your daughter's gonna celebrate her birthday in just a second. Look how cute she is. Oh. We should have invited Ginger, but it's it's okay. Oh, you guys are so cute. Gina, you look so concerned by like life. Yay! Go Zelda! I'm excited. She's gonna be a teenager. Are you like waiting for the cat, Zelda? Oh. Okay. I hope she grows up well. Is she done well in school? Okay. Zelda, you're dragging it out, sweetie. I guess birthdays are a huge deal for fairies, though. Oh, here we go. Happy birthday! Zelda has reached her teen years. Angst and raging hormones make this a difficult period for any sim. Zelda can now join the workforce by taking a part-time job, although her grades are still a big factor in her future success. Because of her success in school, you may choose a trait for Zelda. Oh my goodness. Zelda! Holy days! We're gonna have to give her, <laughs> give her a new look. So she's a lucky supernatural fan who's family-oriented. Okay, and now I think an animal lover? Let's see, because she wants to be a zoologist, and she is a fairy, so I want to give her, like, traits that can represent that. I think animal lover or green thumb definitely not hates the outdoors. In fact, I kind of want to give her the loves the outdoors trait, to be honest. Yeah, actually, doesn't she already have that? Loves the cold? Nope, she doesn't. Loves spending time outside. I think she's kind of like that. Like, she didn't want to do ballet. She wanted to do scouting. And even though she wants to be a zoologist, I think it's more because she loves, like, studying the outdoors. So we're going to go with loves the outdoors. There we go. Oh, wow, we can swap traits? What? What? No, nah, I think we're okay with everything that she's got. There you go, Zelda. Oh, let me get a good look at you. Oh, my gosh. She just had such a teensy little nose. Oh my goodness. Let's get her over. We're gonna we're gonna swap up what she looks like a little bit and we will be right back. Huh? <laughs> Darian. Oh, what a proper little kiss. And here she is, all done. That took a lot longer than I thought, but I am really actually very happy with the end result. It is more grown up Zelda. A little bit of the rebellious teenage look, mostly in her eyes. Look at that, look at that. Defiant little eyes, I see that, I see that Zelda. But also just a relaxed attire. I realized I was gonna give her like proper hiking boots and everything because she goes outdoors a lot. And then I realized she flies, she has wings. <laughs> so we don't really need to worry about that. So Zelda is now a teenager and she's disgusted by the fact she has left some dirty laundry on the floor. And she's really pretty actually. I, I am totally happy with how, what she's growing up into. A beautiful young woman. We'll have her clean up her room since she's so disgusted by the laundry being on the floor. Poof. There, it's gone, it's gone. But I don't know if we have enough money. In fact, we don't have enough money. So we won't be able to change her room right now, but that is something we can look forward to in the future. And newly teenage Zelda should also start being, yeah, being able to use her aura of soothing. <gasps> look at this. She's got all of her little, oh, she can call her pet. Oh, she's got her smartphone. Ooh, let's call Sim. Let's call and chat. Don't invite foreign guests. Let's call and chat with Ginger. And actually, I'm probably going to go age Ginger up in just a little bit. Ooh, and Darian just learned the recipe for a jar. Potent friendship. Wonderful. That's going to be useful in the future. All right, Darian. Uh, he's getting kind of tired. And he has actually, by the way, learned while Zelda was getting herself all ready and prepared. He finished learning... The, neat, the recipe for the 
procreation elixir right here. The chance of conception is increased and twins and triplets are also very likely. And I have a feeling that he is definitely thinking about wanting to use that procreation elixir now that his daughter is growing up and getting ready to leave the house, but we don't have any red toadstools. So we're gonna have to pop over to the elixir store soon and try to get those toadstools. Also get over here, little wands. Why the heck will you not go? It is against the wall. Oh, can't intersect stairs. All right, all right, I see how it is. And now you can't, oh, can't do that, it just says. There, oh, we'll put it right there. Now I'm happier. <laughs> all right, and then let's see. He wants to give the cat a flea bath, improve his alchemy skill. We're just gonna let him research alchemy because Gina is distracted right now. She's having fun with her little science skill. They had a little smooch under the mistletoe that you guys saw. Oh, Ginger, you're gonna grow up soon and you can join you can join Zelda and all of her antics. So let's see, what else? We're getting closer at being able to afford the collector award. Slowly but surely we're getting closer. Oh my gosh, look at all the stuff she can get. That's so cool. So collection helper, we're halfway there. She just hit teenagehood. How long is she gonna be a teenager? She's a fairy, so it should be a while. 30 days! Her dad's gonna be an elder sooner than that. Unless we can, we're working on getting getting him younger. He needs to make a bazillion potions to keep him young so that he can keep up with Gina, who doesn't age up for 202 days. No wonder she's not in a rush to start a family and Darian, meanwhile, who is an adult. Is Gina even an adult yet? No, she's a young adult. Gina's like fresh out of high school. Darian, you cradle robber. He's improved his alchemy skill to level seven. There we go. On his way to more powerful elixirs. Sign Zelda Northstar up for an after-school activity. Teach Zelda Northstar to drive. You guys fly everywhere. We're not, we're not teaching you to drive, you goose. However, we will sign her up for an after-school activity, I think. Your sim wants to nurture a child's interest. Sign them up at the school or on the computer for an after-school activity. I don't know if we'll do that, actually. We'll look into it. But, you know, Zelda, I kind of want to give her some free reign. So, actually, we're going to wait on that. All right, Darian. Look at the snow. It's so beautiful. All the snow falling down. We're going to send Darian off to bed. All right, let's see. Ask to pillow fight? What? That's adorable. Oh, he wants to go talk to Zelda? Nope, now he wants to go sleep. I'll just let him do his own thing. These sims aren't too dumb. They they tend to take care of themselves decently. Skate on a pond with Ginger. That's so cute. Improve photography skill. We could probably do both those things. Are you, Gina, are you like fussing back there? Oh, she's being a coward about death out of the blue. <laughs> Gina. You're such a goofball. Here, go ahead. Keep researching your science. You're okay. Let's see. Talk to plant. And actually, we can start Zelda. Give her... Oh, she's playing with her little magic. I can fly. Aura. Aura of soothing. Look at her. She can do auras now. Wow, look at how brightly she glows. Oh, Zelda, you're growing up, darling. All right, we're going to go ahead and have her sleep. And we're actually going to have her sleep in the fairy house. Even though it's cold outside, I think she'll be okay in here. And she will regenerate her magic skill while she is in the fairy house. Aura of Soothing. Zelda is feeling... <laughs> ah, hold still. Zelda is feeling relaxed thanks to the aura. There's nothing wrong in the world that will worry her now. So we're going to let her go to bed. She's got her cute little outerwear outfit on. But she should keep her aura of soothing going, but also regenerate her magic while she's in her fairy house, I think. Which means that she'll level up her fairy skill faster. Because those cute little wings are cute, but I would love to get her bigger wings one day. Gina, how are you doing? Her. Is that so? Oh, Gina's so cute. Look at the way she's just like, back, 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 back. Oh, Gina. I love how she is like a fairy mad scientist. She makes the cutest faces while she's doing research too. All right, we'll leave her to do her research. I don't know if she can go in the same fairy house. I probably, actually, I should have her put out an aura. Aura of creativity. And then have her do research again. 
She actually really wants to bathe the cats. There we go. And the aura of creativity. Hmm. That's oh, she's feeling soothed because we have two fairies putting off two different auras right now. The aura of creativity from Gina. Anything to do with ma music, painting, or writing feels quite natural to her. And then we've got the aura of relaxation that we're picking up over from our wonderful little Zelda. So that's adorable. They're kind of playing off each other. That's so cute. But this is very exciting. Oh my gosh, and look at it. It's so cold and... Aw, and... Aw, the treehouse. Oh, I can't believe Zelda's grown up. Like, it's hard for me to wrap my head around that. Zelda feels the power of the Fae growing stronger within her. If Zelda wishes to inspire, she only has to ha harness the power of... The aura of creativity to draw inspiration from her mystical powers. She can use the flight of felicity, felicity to speed others up in their travels. That actually really might help. Oh, take a class in the science skill. That's cool. Yeah, we can do that. All right, hang on. We're going to switch to aura of... Uh, is this aura of soothing? Yeah. We're going to switch to aura of soothing. I love that we've got such a like science meets magic household. There's that. Actually, we're going to send her to bed. Uh, she's doing okay on her, her aura right now. Oh my gosh, the snow is really piling up. Oh, why hello, soot. Do you need a little bit of attention? Care, brush, affection, feed, treat, talk to... Gina really likes animals, so... Who the heck is calling Darian at 1 in the morning? Oh, look at this. Darian wants to have a child. I know. Oh, create 15 elixirs. Create skill booster. He's really, like, he's getting serious about his elixir stuff now. Who is calling Darian at this time of night? Go away. He's sound asleep. No. We're not going to participate in an opportunity for, like, being all the way in Egypt. Stop that nonsense. Alright, but I'm just going to get the family ready for the morning, and we're going to try out Zelda's new life. Oh, look, she's happy because she's outside. Oh, you absolutely have to love the amazingness of the fairy house. It is so cool. But we're going to grow Ginger up so Zelda has a teenage friend. And we are going to just enjoy seeing what the family gets up to next. But I think, I think we're on to something. Jar of potent friendship. <laughs> Have a child. I think Darian is starting to uh, put his mind towards filling up the crib in this room. But if he uses that, we want to we wanna try to get that elixir of potent uh, <laughs> procreation. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, I will see you all next time. I am loving this. This is so much fun learning to play the game and watching as this adorable family grows. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye.